Now see, see here, as I told you yesterday, if carbon chain is a straight, then it will be normal pentyl, common system. If carbon chain will be straight, then it will be normal. It will be okay. normal. But so normal pentyl, trivial, and common name will be pentyl. Now see one branch is there in main carbon chain. One, two, three, four carbon atoms are there. And one CH3 is there like this. CH3, C, CH2, CH3. One CH3 is written here. One CH3 is written here. So then it won't be normal pentyl. It will be isopentyl. What it will be? Isopentyl. Are you getting my point? Yeah. Isopentyl. Common name, trivial name is isopentyl. But IUPC name will be 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 methyl butane. 2 methyl butane or 2 methyl butyl. And if, if it is CH3, CH2, then C, CH3. If we have written like this, then this will be tertiary pentyl. This will be tertiary pentyl. This will be tertiary pentyl. Why tertiary pentyl? C, because this carbon where valency is available for attachment is further attached with three more carbon atoms now. So it is tertiary. Yeah. This is tertiary okay. pentyl. This is isopentyl and a straight chain that is normal pentyl. And if below and above, both this carbon is having two radicals below as well as above. So then this will be tertiary pentyl. Now see one more. Uh, sir, so in this one, yeah, uh, in this one example, yeah, butyl and butane is the same, and this yeah. uh, underlined one, yeah. Actually, uh, there you have written tertiary, tertiary, uh, sorry, two methyl butyl, butyl means some other main carbon chain is there. Other main carbon chain is there, or from that main carbon chain, this pentyl group is attached. Fine? Yes, fine. Butyl, 2-methyl butyl alcohol, 2-methyl butyl chloro, or like this, uh, it is there. Alcohol is there. So, <laughs> nitrite is there. So, for such things, it is there. Just here you need to learn this all. And once you learn, then obviously in coming chapters, all these things will be used. Then only you will understand this all. Now see, this carbon, this carbon, here valency for attachment is available. And this carbon is further having three methyl group. Then this will be neopentyl. This will be neopentyl. See what the difference between Tertiary pentyl. In tertiary pentyl, the valency which is vacant here, attached to that valence, uh, atta attached to that group, this carbon is further attached with three more carbon atoms, then it is tertiary. Then it is tertiary. If this is functional group, then functional group attached carbon, that is alpha carbon atom, this is beta, this is gamma. So if alpha carbon atom which is attached to the functional group is further attached with three more carbon atoms, then it will be tertiary. Now okay. see, this is your functional group. So this is alpha and this is beta. Here beta is attached with three radicals, na, three carbon atoms. Na, then it will be neo. <coughs> then it will be neo. This is very confusing, okay. beta. You have to practice here a lot. What's the difference between secondary and ISO? What's the difference between tertiary and neo? Okay. And see, this all yesterday we did now. What C6H5 is phenyl. 
what mm -hmm. IUPAC name yeah. is phenyl. This phenyl can be written as pH, or this phenyl can be denoted as psi also, sorry, phi also. Phi yeah. also. So this is phenyl. C6H5CH2 is benzyl. C6H5CH is benzyl. C6H5C is, is benzo. This is what I was explaining there in C6H5C and now. Yeah. It was this now. So yeah. this I told you benzo. And since we have counted carbon of cyanide, so it will be nitrile. So benzo nitrile. Yeah. Fine. And C6H5CO yeah. is benzoyl. If number of carbon atom there in any compound is 1, it is meth. If 2, eth, probe, bute, pent, hex, hept, ort, known, det. For 10, it is det. For 11, it is undet. Do det, tri det, octa det, tetra det, penta det, hexa det, hepta det, octa det. For 20, it is icosane. For 30, it is tripontane. For 40, it is tetracontane and C50, it is pentacontane. That much they won't be asking us, but still we should know this all. Should I clear this all, beta? Yeah, and uh, one thing. Yeah. Are there more like this uh, new, uh, what? Like this new thing, pentyl, new pentyl thing? Yeah. Yeah, like are there more? Like here it was uh, tertiary. And here yeah. it is neo. Are there more? Uh, See, what is the meaning of neo? This carbon, na, neo. Then this carbon is further attached with four more carbon atoms. Na. So this is four degree. This is quaternary. And this is three degree. This is attached with three carbon atoms only. So tertiary pentyl is three degree. And neo pentyl is four degree, quaternary. Oh. Fine? Yeah. Now, see. Now, see butyl. See, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. Car uh, CH2, sorry. Carbon chain is straight now. So, it is normal butyl. Yeah. Or simply butyl. Now see here there is one branch CH3, CH2, CH and here there is one branch. What this is isobutyl. What this one is isobutyl. Now see oh. if this carbon is further attached with three more CH3. This is also butane. Na? Total four carbon atoms are there. This is tertiary butyl. This is tertiary butyl. Is this okay? This carbon yeah. ojas is 3 degree or 4 degree? This carbon is what degree? 3 degree. Three degree. Fine. So tertiary yeah. is 3 degree and a neo is 4 degree. Okay. 4 degree means one carbon is further attached with 4 more carbon atoms. Here total hmm. carbon atom is 4. Here total is 4. So how one carbon can be attached further with 4 more carbon atoms? That's not possible now. Yeah. Total will become 5 and your limit is 4 only. Right. So that's all. Yeah. Is this all okay? Yeah. These, and, uh, uh, these... what is with that 3 uh, degree hydrogen? I mean 2 degree hydrogen <laughs> can fall into it. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you 3 degree, 2 degree, 1 degree, all carbon atoms, I'll tell you. Fine? Should I clear yeah. this all? Yeah. See, all these things uh, means uh, by using so many different books, then I have written this all. So, yeah. this, this much information you won't be getting there, there in other books. In one book, you will get this. In another, this you will get this. In some other book, you will get this. So, how many books you will be reading? It won't be possible for you to go through so many books. Na? Yeah. Now, see, what next is propyl? 
if it is a straight chain, normal propyl. Normal propyl. If one branch is there, then isopropyl. One branch is there. C. CH3. CH. CH3. Now, suppose here there is functional group OH. Then, what this one is? Methyl. What this one is? Ethyl. Methyl, ethyl, alcohol. Methyl, ethyl, alcohol. Okay. This is what? Here it is written. Methyl, ethyl. <coughs> On last page, you are having some issue, na? There in ethyl, butyl. Yeah. So, it was like this one. Okay. Now, I'll tell you what you are asking me. C. <laughs> C here. This carbon is further attached with how many carbons? One. One degree. This carbon is further attached with how many carbons? One. One degree. What about this carbon? Two. Two degree. What about this carbon? Two. What about this carbon? Three. Three degree. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> so like this. Oh, I one uh, I one degree. Hydrogen. One degree means primary. Two degree means secondary. Three degree means tertiary. And four degree means quaternary. What you are asking me? About hydrogen. Like I have a question. Shall I forward you on uh, WhatsApp? Yeah. Here, just tell me. Here, you 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 are. You can forward that too. But I want to discuss here itself. So you are talking like this. Uh, no, uh, it has a compound given. Yeah. And then it says how many two degree uh, hydrogen atoms are present in the given following compound. This this carbon uh, this carbon is two degree, na. So this hey, hydrogen will be two degree. Hydrogen. Yeah, yeah. Just let me finish. Okay. This carbon is two degree, na. Yeah. Hydrogen will be two degree. This carbon is one degree, na. This carbon is yeah. one degree, na. Yeah. So hydrogen will be one degree. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Now see one more example. There, in that case, there was no. So. What about this carbon ojas? This is four degree. Four degree, or you can say quaternary. Quaternary carbon atom. So how many how many quaternary hydrogen atoms will be there, Ojas? How many quaternary Zero. hydrogen atom will be there? Zero. Fine? Yeah. Yeah. C. This is what they may ask us. So, good question, man. If we'll study now, then only we'll be having doubts. If we won't study, then we'll never be having any doubts. If doubts are not there, it doesn't mean we are getting everything. If doubts are not there, means we are not reading anything. Because in this stage, obviously, you must be having many, many doubts. So, you should study a lot so that whatever doubts you are having, you can clear all such things. Yeah. Is this all okay? Yeah. One degree, two degree, three degree, four degree is all over. Yeah. Now see, should I clear this all? Yeah. Now. <clears throat> see, I am preparing all these things for my students only. If you'll ask very good questions, then only I'll be preparing notes based on your questions. Right. And who will be uh, uh, you, using all such things? It will be you only. Right. So it will be helpful for you, man. Fine. Radicals. Now see, radicals all is over. 
ethyl, methyl, propyl, butyl, pentyl, that all is over. Now here, CH2 double bond CH. This also I explained you now, vinyl. Yeah. IUPAC will be ethanol. This will be allyl, 2-propenyl. This will be acryl, 2-propenyl. This will be yeah. amyl. Pentyl is amyl. Pentyl is amyl. Pentyl and amyl both are one and the same thing. Fine, beta? Okay. CH2 double bond, trivial name is methanol and IUPC name is also methanol. Okay. CH2 double bond, CCH3. What does it mean? CH2 double bond, C. CH3, this one. So, yeah. what it is? C1, CH3 is there on the downside. No? It's not there yeah. <laughs> in, on a straight chain. So, it will be ISO. What it will be? ISO. Since three carbon atoms of probe and double bond is there, so in and one valency is missing. So, YL, isopropenyl or one methyl yeah. One methyl ethanol, one methyl ethanol. Fine. Yeah. Now see. Yesterday I spoke about this all. What this one is? Let's see how many points will be telling me. I, I think I told you three points. Let's see how many of those, those three points will be telling here. Uh, which book uh, it is? It is, is it Arihant? Uh, no, this is uh, M S Chauhan. I have it. At oh, my okay, own. okay. Biology publication. Biology publication. So, which one, mains yeah. or advanced? Uh, advanced problems in organic chemistry. Okay, fine, good. So. Okay, fine. So just to do these questions, whether right answers we are getting or not getting. If it is not right, if you are not getting the right answer, then you should tell me. So is it okay or shall I buy the Orihan one that you said? No, no, that's the best Arihan one. Or the... No, no, that's the best one. See, someday I I told you about uh, Willie's publication. Na? Yeah. Willie's publication, Organic Chemistry is MS Chauhan only. Okay, that is uh, that is theory, and this what you are having it is MCQ. Yeah, fine. Okay, so, so that's the best. I one. Could solve this only, right? Yeah, yeah, that's best. Okay. So this one is a uh, radical with like two hydrogen removed. Yeah. With uh, this was the name of my kind of one. Yeah. From behind only this was. Yeah, see, was but what I. Yeah, what I explained to you yesterday that you are not speaking. See, what this is CH2, CH2 now. So it is ethylene. If suppose two Cl are there, ethylene dichloride. And here, if two Cl are there on the same carbon atom, 
then it will be known as ethylidine chloride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is 1, 2 dichloroethane. That will be 1, 1 dichloroethane. This one is, since on the neighboring carbon atoms, so it is vicinal dihalide. And if it is on the same carbon atom, then it will be geminal dihalide. These three points I told you yesterday, but see, revision was not done. Bhav. Revision must be very strong, beta. Initial two, three classes, na, portion will be very less. So without even revision, without even reading, you can manage that all. But after two, three, four days, when contents will be more, na, without revision, it will be difficult for us to understand. Yeah. All these folders, what I forwarded you yesterday, are very, very important, Bita. So many books I have used to write all these points. It is not one, two, three books. Okay. Is this all and okay? Also, that, yeah, also, this yeah. uh, uh, recording you haven't posted on the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday, yes, I didn't do that. Actually, I was not well from last two, yeah. three days. I was not well, so yesterday I didn't do that, but uh, today I'll do that. Yeah. Fine? So, so always, whenever uh, whenever I'll forget to do that all, just drop me a message, that's all. Yeah. Fine? Usually, I'm recording this all for you only. In case of other students, I'm not recording. So, Fine? So, so then it will I do, be the is already recorded, so I don't take screen for it. Yeah, yeah. Then, uh, then it will be uh, easy for you to revise, now. Yeah. Even you are lying down there on the bed, then also you can keep watching or keep listening. Listening will be sufficient for us, now. Yeah. And revision will be done. Right. Fine, beta. Yeah. No issue. But uh, just take care of revision this all, beta. It should be very strong. Then only you will enjoy a lot. Then my speed will also be automatically. It will be very high. But if you won't be revising, you will be speaking less. So I'll be getting less motivation and obviously my speed will automatically get reduced. Fine. Okay. So that's all. No issue. You can, uh, if suppose tomorrow I won't be taking your class, so you will get time, additional time. So just to do that all. Yeah. If it is. Yeah. Fine. Now see what next to this. See, here, what they have written. Here, what they have written. C-double-O-H. Then, O-H. Then, double bond. Now, C. Now see this one. Now I am talking about a very difficult compound. See, here valency of carbon is 1. 1, 2, 3. What this one is? Hydrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hydrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hydrogen. 1. That's all. Here it will only be 1. <coughs> now see, what you should do first. First of all, these are functional groups. Yeah. These are functional group. This is secondary suffix. This is secondary suffix. And this will be primary suffix. This will be primary suffix. Now see, this is, this is here. This main carbon chain is further attached with two carbon atoms. And this will be there, there in the side chain. Yeah. So, how you will write this one? What <coughs> CCH3 is ethyl? 
सो इन साइड द ब्रैकेट दिस साइड चैन इज फर्दर हैविंग साइड चैन ना दिस इज साइड चैन दिस साइड चैन इज फर्दर हैविंग साइड चैन सो दिस मेन साइड चैन मस्ट बी रिटर्न दे आर इन साइड द ब्रैकेट एंड बिफोर दैट मेन साइड चैन दिस फर्दर साइड चैन शुड बी रिटर्न मिथाइल इथाइल and on which carbon it is there 1 2 3 4 5 on which carbon it is there 4 uh, so 4 uh, methyl uh, ethyl yeah. okay or instead of writing 4 methyl ethyl what we can write 4 isopropyl it is isopropyl na one chain side chain and rest is main chain <coughs> isopropyl now see now see what you should write <coughs> three hydroxy four methyl ethyl three hydroxy three hydroxy sorry this won't be there now how many carbons are there five carbons so pent oh. now on second carbon atom double bond is there no? on second carbon yeah. atom double bond is there no? so pent two in fine yeah. now see yeah. this carbon you have counted there in the main carbon chain na 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 so it yeah. is pent two in one oic acid this was one of the difficult most uh, uh, questions so here we should know this all obviously will take time overnight it won't be possible but just to keep on practicing very hard uh, sir also yeah uh, like the uh, fourth carbon only has signal bond yeah just a minute fourth carbon so, any the fourth carbon oh fourth carbon single bond only right yeah yeah थर्डिंग No, no. Uh, no, like I am asking. Yeah. Like we wrote for the double bond, right? Yeah, two in we wrote, na? We wrote two yeah. in. So the rest of the atom, like the third one, has a single bond. Yeah. So that doesn't have to be specified, right? No. Yeah, that's okay. This double bond will be either of this carbon or this carbon. So which is coming first? Two is coming first, na? So it will yeah. be of second carbon atom. It won't be of third carbon atom. You know, like when I am coming. Yeah. Just write on the screen. One, Just write on the screen. Yeah, writing. The third one has a single bond, right? Yeah. So is there a need of like in the this one to write uh, three like in and all that? No. Uh, if you have written in na na bata. Yeah. If you have written in na, then if you have written in or in, then you need not to say in. Okay. Fine. Just you need to specify double and triple bond. You need not to say anything about the single bond. Okay. If double bond is there, if triple bond is there, then single bond is already included there in that. Okay. So this is And what the basic. Like... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Please. This one. The fourth carbon has a double bond. Yeah. So that has to be uh, specified, right? Now. 
One, two, three. The fourth, where double bond is there? This is uh, we fourth carbon. This fourth carbon. Oh, five. Here yeah. I added double bond. Then, then you will be writing pent two four diene, one oic acid. Okay. We have already done such questions. So two four diene, two four diene. Anything yeah. you can write. But just to see the valency, whether it is right or wrong, oh. and see the counting also. Yes. Is this all okay? Yes. Now, so this basic rule of nomenclature, this all is done, then this is already discussed. Should I go to the next one? Yes. <laughs> so, work very hard on these folders, beta. So these points are very helpful for us. Now see, one more folder was there. Na? I just completed one folder, then the second folder we were doing. So we should do all these things. Fine. So uh, once obviously you'll be asking me questions, doubts, then I'll get the chance to discuss the third sector also. Now see, what about phthalic acid? What phthalic acid is? Just take benzene and on first and second c double oh is there what this is called this is called phthalic acid this is called phthalic acid if it is one two if it is one two then only phthalic acid if it is one three then it will be meso phthalic acid and if one c double oh is there they are on the first carbon and the second C double OH is there, they are one, two, three, four here. They are on the fourth carbon atom that is para. That is called terephthalic acid. So phthalic acid, one, two, mesophthalic acid, one, three, and terephthalic acid, one, four. So just a position of C double OH will be different, and accordingly, names will get changed. Is this all okay? Yeah. Huh, like all. From here, I come to know whether you are doing revision, Babu, or not. Glycol. What glycol is just right there on the screen? Glycol was I guess that one. Huh? Two OS one was glycol or what? Yeah, that I explained you yesterday only. Two carbon oh. atoms and both will be having OH. This yeah. is ethane one two diol. That is glycol. What what it is? Do you remember something special related to this glycol? That constitutes anti freezing mixture. Yeah. yeah. Anti freezing mixture. Glycerol as well as glycerin, both. Glycerol as well as glycol, both will be used as anti freezing mixture. <coughs> now, see metacresol. One is CH3 and one is OH. Then this is called meta cresol. One three na so meta. If it is one four para. If it is one two ortho. So one carbon in benzene being is having CH three group and one carbon there in cresol in benzene ring will be there on the third. If it is one two. Then ortho, if it is 1, 3, then meta, if it is 1, 4, then para, cresol. Oh, yeah. Fine? Yeah. 
So like this. Now see what next is halothene. See what halothene is. Oh, just what will be the name of this one? Have we discussed about this earlier? This is halothene. No. Okay. This is halothene. Can you say the IUPC name of this one? I told you there on the very first class that in European countries, Chloroform is not used there. This halothene is used as an anesthetic agent. There in India, still we are using chloroform, but in Europe, it is not chloroform which is used as an anesthetic. It is used as, it, uh, it is halothene only which is used as an anesthetic agent there in Europe. Because halothene is quite inert, so will never come in contact with air and light and will never get converted into poisonous compound. But when chloroform comes in contact with the air and light, will get converted into poisonous compound, phosgene or carbonyl compound. So that is why okay. in Europe, halothene is used instead of, instead of chloroform. Chloroform, yeah. So can you write the IUPC name of this one? Is it done? No, no. Uh, like what will be uh, what will be numbering be right now? Yeah, this is what the point is now. For what that only you? I gave you this question. Just to know. Yes, very good man. Why? Because this carbon is having three functional groups while this carbon is having only two functional groups. So priority must be given to this. Very good. But usually students make mistake. Two bromo, how you will write it? Two bromo, because B comes first now. Then C, two bromo, two chloro. Then one, 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 trifluoro. Trifluoroethane. Is this all okay? Yes. So this was a good point. But now, if there was a like any compound instead of the test, then yeah, then yeah, then 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 from any side you can start counting carbons. But if suppose it is OH, if suppose it is OH, then from here. Okay. Fine, because OH is much stronger than halona. Okay. 